We'll find out in just a few moments how well Etta Glidden did in preparing that 4D XP. But right now, it's the semifinals of Top Fuel Eliminator. Billy Williams against Shirley Muldowney, and Billy has had a couple of big breaks. One, the car stayed upright in round one after that massive engine explosion. In round number two, he got a single. Steve had a chance to ask Shirley what she knows about Billy. Shirley Muldowney, tell me about Billy Williams. That's your next opponent. I don't know much about Billy. I know he was a... a uh, very good in the alcohol classes. Uh, he's, he's a real nice guy. Uh, I think he's a pretty good driver, but I don't know much about, you know, how consistent his equipment is. I'm hoping it isn't too consistent. For Shirley, she has been the picture of consistency throughout this event. She qualified in the 550s, has been through eliminations in the 560 elapsed time bracket. A good start for Billy Williams. He's right alongside Shirley Muldowney, but then the superior horsepower pulling ahead, and Shirley wins it 5.65 seconds at over 245 miles an hour. Gary Beck, the quickest man in all of drag racing, coming up to race Connie Kalita in the second race of this round of Top Fuel Eliminator. Steve's at the finish line with Shirley. Shirley Muldowney continues her march towards what could be a third world championship title at season's end, but more important now, her second ever U.S. Nationals final round berth. She lost the last time she was in this position and doesn't intend for that to happen again. Congratulations, you're Thank in the you. final. Thank you. It's what an honor. 565. That's, that's good enough. That may do it. What Shirley thinks is good enough is her elapsed time of 5.65 seconds. The choice of lanes goes to the racer with the lowest ET of the previous round of racing. Here we have Connie Kalita looking over at his competition, the quickest man in drag racing. Gary Beck driving Larry Miner's car from El Toro, California. He has run 5.48 seconds. That would easily eclipse Shirley Muldowney's 565, but that was set earlier in the day. The track conditions are different. The atmosphere is different. And Kalita with a great leap. Something goes away at the very start on Gary Beck's car and the upset of the race. Connie Kalita with a 5.68 seconds, three hundredths of a second slower, and Shirley knows she has lane choice in the finals when she meets her former crew chief, Connie Kalita, 